this was supposed to be Xi Jinping's big year. Instead, he is dealing with COVID and war. Hong Kong CNN. In a year when all Xi Jinping craved was for things to be stable, 2022 is shaping up to be anything but. After years of careful preparation, the Chinese leader is expected to step into an almost unprecedented third term at the helm of the country and its Communist Party this fall. But instead of the smooth ride, dual crises are threatening, threatening to upend the status quo. With China's largest outbreak of COVID-19 in two years emerging at home, while overseas, Russia embarked on a brutal, widely denounced invasion of Ukraine. The war comes just weeks after Beijing declared a limitless partnership with Moscow, putting China's diplomat on the back foot, back foot and pushing China to make an existential, existential choice about its future international role. While she's passed to the third term may not be imperiled by these twin crises, both will need to be navigated carefully as the 68-year-old leader steers to country towards the twice a decade leadership reshuffle at the 20-party congress this fall. Chinese President Xi Jinping Center and other officials sing the Chinese national anthem during a ceremony to mark Mathilde's Day at Tiananmen Square in Beijing in September 2019. From Beijing's perspective, there is no higher priority than stability ahead of the party congress. As we all know, it's by no means an election, but this is the closest you might come to seeing a campaign season in China," said Natasha Kassam, a director of the Public Opinion and Foreign Policy Program at the Australia-based think tank, the Low, Low, Lowy Institute. We know that most opposition to Xi has been eliminated. But there is still the expectation of delivering on particular needs for the majority of people, she said. That may be especially true for a leader who has spent years consolidating power and oversaw the remover, remover of a cons constitutional thumb limit on the presidency, paving the way for him to stay on top in the closed door elite political process that decided will he, who will lead China for next five-year term. In doing so, Xi has placed himself at the center of the party and state, in a way not seen since communist Chinese China's founding father Mao Zedong decades ago, the position from which the country's successes can rest on his shoulders but so too can its failures. Complicated friendship As Russian tank, soldiers and fight, fighter planes advanced into Ukraine from multiple sites last month, China ap appeared to some observers to have either been playing along or played. Days before the invasion, Beijing continued to publicly dismiss the U.S. intelligence that the Russian assault of each neighbor was imminent, despite Xi and Russian President Vladimir Putin earlier that month signing a 5,000-word joint joint statement that included the expression of their shared disapproval of NATO expansion an issue that's been key to Putin's rationale for his assault on Ukraine. The importance of that meeting, the third, 38 between the two leaders since 2013, was only underscored by the fact it was Xi's first in-person summit with another head of state in nearly two years.
and China, China has maintained the stringent control over each border during the COVID-19 pandemic. While views diverge on how much she may have known about Putin's true plans, as Russia's unprovoked invasion wears on China's position of both saying it respects international norms while not condemning Russia is growing increasingly un untenable. Now, this situation is impossible for China. China will either have to be in support of global institutions or it will be against them. That's it, said Victor Xi, a professor at the University of California, San Diego School of Global Policy and Strategy. For China, it's turned, it turned into a diplomatic and potentially economic headache. That risk for China, and by extension Xi, is twofold. On one, the one hand, if it violates a raft of stringent sanctions imposed by the West in order to lend support to Russia, Chinese enterprises involved could be hit by secondary sanctions, potentially signing their economic deaths on the global market. But more pressing is the risk Beijing's stance could sink relations between China and its major trading partner in the West. Even, even before Russia's invasion of Ukraine, these ties were seeing significant strain. Washington and Beijing have been a logger heads for several years over issues like trade, Taiwan and China's human rights record, and there are signs Europe was moving in a similar direction. Last year, a highly anticipated investment deal between the European Union and Beijing stalled as tensions flared over China's alleged human rights abuses against Muslim minority groups in its western region of Xinjiang. And when it comes to Ukraine, pressure is already very much on China to choose the side, with US officials saying this week that Moscow has asked Beijing for military aid, a claim both China and Russia deny. U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said Monday that the United States is watching very close, closely the extent to which the People's Republic of China provides any form of support, whether that's material support, whether that's economic support, whether that's financial support to Russia. On Tuesday, Kim Gang, China's ambassador to the U.S., Push it back on assertion that China knew about acquiescence to or tax tacitly reported this war in an op op in the Washington Post, saying instead that had chi China known about the imminent crisis, we would be we would have tried our best to prevent it, and that Beijing was committed to working for peace. Well, this may be making some people in cis China uncomfortable. There are certainly differences of opinion among Communist Party members and the business community who are concerned with China being tied to the Paria state and concerned about falling power of very dramatic sanctions, Kassam said. China's trade relationship with the world democracies is many magnitudes larger than it's with, it is with Russia, she said. Trade between the European Union and China topped $800 billion last year, and U.S.-China trade was over $750 billion, according to China's official data, while its trade with Russia was just under 100 50 billion dollars. An example of this differing opinion was on show in a commentary published the last week by Shanghai-based Shukola Hu Wei, vice chairman of the Public Policy Research Center of the Consor 
Counselor's Office of the State Council who warned China's path of not condemning Putin could lead to isolation. Russian pre pre President Vladimir Putin revealed a military honor guard with Chinese leader Xi Jinping in Beijing on June 8, 2018. <coughs> if China does not take pro proactive measures to res respond, it will encounter further containment from the US and the West, who wrote in a piece published in Chinese and the English translation in the US-China Perception Mo Monitor, a pr publication of the US-based non-profit the Carter Center, which said the Monitor's website was blocked in China not long after the piece was published. China should avoid playing both sides in the same boat, giving, give up being neutral and choose the mainstream position in the world, who said. But while such concerns may be bubbling under the, under the surface, experts remain skeptical they res respect, represent a strong or even dominant view in the Communist Party given Xi's own per personal embrace of Putin in recent years, and to move away from Putin would be to risk questioning Xi. In the short term, Beijing cannot change its no-limit partnership with Russia because it will imply that Xi was wrong to get China into the difficult position in the first place, said Yun Sun, director of the China program at the Washington-based Steam. Stimson Center think tank. She is aiming for the third term, and this will be a mainstay on his record. COVID crisis, crisis, but rooming concerns about whether China's economy can be impacted by global turmoil sparked by Russia's war or any penalties from the further break with the Western partners are coupled with another challenge to stability, both the economy and political, on China's home front. There, new COVID-19 cases have been reported in the thousands for several days in the largest outbreak in roughly two years. It's a sharp jolt for the country that has assiduously maintained a global assiduously maintained the general COVID posture at great cost shutting its borders to most foreigners since March 2020, rolling out a complex, complex digital tracking system for each individual and, and enacting mass testing and snap lockdowns even when a hot handful of cases were found. China leaders have freely equated that policy and its relative success at controlling COVID-19 to what they claim is to is the superiority 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 of the Chinese system over that of Western democracies, where the virus spread rampantly, rampantly. Such rhetoric has not only played played out on Chinese state media, where the holders of COVID nineteen. Overseas are voluptuously covered. It had it also been part of Xi's own case to the world about why China is exemplifying, exemplifying, exemplary global leader and force for good. For more than a year, analysts have suggested China would not relax its stringent zero COVID policy even as the rest of the world opens up, until after 2022's party congress was over and Xi cemented his third term as a widespread outbreak would challenge that carefully cultivated image. 
resident in China's port city of Shenzhen called up for COVID-19 test on March 13, 2022. The last thing that Chinese leaders want is to have a nationwide major COVID-19 outbreak that overwhelmed the hospitals and could contribute to social and political instability, said Yan Chong Huang, a senior fellow for global health at the Council on Foreign Relations. A global government failure to effect effectively respond to such a crisis could translate into a legitimacy crisis ahead of the party congress, he said. But now, that risk is playing out in real time as authorities around the country race to lock down cities and stamp up cases, with no guarantee these measures will be effective against newer and highly infectious Omicron variant. As of Tuesday, five Chinese cities more than, with more than 37 million residents were under various forms of lockdown and the concerns have been growing over the economic fallout from China's stringent control measures. At least one major company, Apple supplier Foxconn, suspended operations in Shenzhen before moving into a closed-loop system where employees who live on campus can work as the tech hub went under a soft lockdown after recording 66, 66 COVID-19 cases on Saturday. A research note from analyst at Financial Services Group Nomura on far Friday said the cost of China's zero COVID strategy will rise significantly as its benefits decline making it much harder for Ch Beijing to achieve its around 5.5% GDP growth target for 2022. A figure was already, was already a country's lowest official growth target in three decades. But China's leaders and she may be worrying about more than the macroeconomic out outlook or ahead of the party congress, according to Loy Institute, Kassam. If sustained, widespread lockdowns could strike at the welfare, welfare and livelihoods of the more economically vulnerable in the country, groups whose, groups whose economic security has been part of Xi's well-publicized pub signature focus through his first two terms as president. That could see the government would be willing to roll out tools to prompt prom up the economy this year than in the past if COVID-19 is not brought under control swiftly, Kassam said, because this one will impact every man first. And if we come back to this idea that we're in campaign season, so to speak, that becomes really important. While hand, hand winds from this event may have an impact on every man in China, there is one man who is carefully surveying the landscape and pulling the strings. As this dual crisis evolves during the highly sensitive year, experts will be watching closely to see to what extent to see moves to recalibrate China's positions, both overseas and at home, to ensure there are no threats posed to his historic th transition into a third term. Because, as China's latest government work report, often seen as the Chinese equivalent of the State of the Uni Union address in the U.S., repeatedly made clear Xi Jinping is the core of the Communist Party leadership, and it is of the highest priority to maintain overall social stability to welcome the victory of the 20th Party Congress.